see those. They are beautiful. They are gorgeous. I think they're gorgeous anyway. This is this is me. A green is my color. And I think they turned out gorgeous. I used a resin art resin to make them. Um, it took me three pours, which it should have only took me two. Um, took me three pours. One mistake that I did make was whenever I put my uh, crystals or my rocks in, I made them too high, which made me have to do a third pour that was a no good pour. And I will explain it as I go. If you guys are interested in watching this, come on with me. Okay, so let me explain what's going on here. I had four of them almost done when I decided on the fifth one, hey, I should be videoing. Don't know why it just it didn't hit me until I got to the last one, but um, so what I'm doing here is I'm adding, you can see green glass in the middle and um, gold glass around the sides those are chipped glass they're made to look like crystals you can get them at Dollar General and um, the dollar stores where I got those at for a buck I'm using uh, resin art resin and I have colored it with mecca powders a green black and gold um, and as you can see I'm putting it in trying to be strategic on how I put them in in order to get a good color combination that's um, something that I feel is really important you know for your piece is to get a good color combination so I played with around with this for a while before I got it to look the way I wanted it to look so this pour really was a difficult pour I don't feel that the uh, coaster mold itself is deep enough but uh, some people might disagree with me on that one I did like the challenge matter of fact I'm doing a, another set of them in a different color um, that will be on here soon I just really do like those colors and, and and I really like how they turned out there's just some flaws in them that I have to to either live with or figure out how I'm gonna fix them anyway I hope you enjoy the video and I hope you stick around and let me know if you have any comments questions suggestions I'm open ears
I love that green by the way. It's a gorgeous green. I'm surprised I had so much left over. took me several overlays to get this the way I wanted it. I'm going to add the leftover gold and the leftover black. These are just beautiful coasters. I, I'm still cannot believe how pretty they are. So I'm going to take a toothpick and I'm going to use a toothpick to um, insert some gold swirls in there. Well, okay, not a toothpick. It's <laughs> a different tool. Fondant tool. And then uh, I put it aside on level ground, on a level area so it will cure and um, I then add a layer of clear over the top of it, wait for that to cure, and what you're about to see and witness is me popping out um, after the second pour.
Okay, so here is where the trouble began. You can see that I had taped, clear tape, around the coasters, folded it at the bottom, wrong, 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 wrong thing to do, folded it at the bottom, it uh, caused wrinkles and some other problems, so just keep watching. I hope you're enjoying it. Okay, so let's have an up-close, personal talk about these coasters. And let me go over all the things that went wrong when I did that last pour. So the last pour was um, I had the tape around it and I poured into on top of the coaster. Um, and had the tape holding it in. So as you can see on the on this coaster where it actually started to pour and where I got it all the way up to. If you can see that. You can also see where <clears throat> I have ledges uh, that are over um, because my tape, let me see if I can explain this, my tape bowed out, so my resin bowed out uh, further than what it was supposed to be. So I have that as far as issues go on these coasters. Um, that's this one. This one here if you can see it has wrinkles in the bottom because whenever I put that tape on there I didn't get it on there good and it didn't stick real good to the sides and whenever I folded that tape over onto the bottom and then poured it resin seeped in right here into the bottom and now I have a wrinkle area right here in the bottom. So, um, and then I have another wrinkle right here. I hope you guys can see that. So these are definitely uh, flawed. And I'm leery about sanding them, which I, which I can. But I'm leery about doing that because of how much trouble I had whenever I poured the top layer over here I'm worried about having the same problem on the bottom <clears throat> so I I can try to sand it off without uh, pouring a new pour but I don't know if that'll work if you guys have any suggestions for me I would love to hear them because <clears throat> I spent so much time on these and they turned out so gorgeous looking I hate to just say uh, not not salvageable you know <clears throat> I would like to salvage them if nothing else they're gonna be mine 
they're going to be mine and I won't get rid of them. But, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry guys. But um, I just got done getting a COVID test because I have carpal tunnel surgery on Friday. So, I'm not looking forward to that one. But, so these are the problems that I have. And then on top of that, up here, I'm a little raised at my edges. So I'm debating on whether I want to sand that down or not, or do I want to keep that there so whenever condensation from a cup or glass gets in here, it, it'll hold the water and your water won't go everywhere. So I haven't made up my mind if I want to, you know, how I want to handle it. So please, please, guys, give me some suggestions if you have anything that you think might work that I haven't thought about. I would love to hear from you love to hear from you please leave me some comments down below and um, like and share and subscribe uh, to my channel I appreciate you guys hanging out with me and I totally appreciate you uh, watching this video all the way through and you guys have a wonderful day